Who's ready to crush your sugar and carb cravings? Can you dig it? Lose a butt ton of weight. Can you dig it? And come together to lose 10,000 pounds. Can you dig it? Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Larry here. It's time for our 60 day BBBE Wall of Doom 10,000 pound weight loss challenge. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Not bad, huh? Yes, for World Carnivore Month, we decided to do the BBBE challenge because so many people in our community uh, slipped up during the holidays and with those slip ups, the cravings for sugar and carbs return. And there's no better tool than the BBBE challenge to basically crush the heck out of those cravings. Cassie and I have done the challenge three or four times on our journey. It's an awesome tool to get back on track and learn when you're really hungry. So as you can see, I'm missing my partner in crime, my beautiful wife, Cassie, and she's got a little message she recorded for you this morning. But first, I got a little mental clarity trivia for you. As most of you know, the man responsible for creating the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge is Dr. Kim Berry. But who named the carnivore diet the carnivore diet? Was it A, Dr. Anthony Chafee, B, Kelly Hogan, C, Dr. Sean Baker, or D, Steak and Butter Gal? As always, put your guess down in the comments and I'll let you know here in a few minutes if you were right. Now here's what Cassie's doing for the 60 day challenge. Happy New Year, everybody. We have 365 days in this year, 365 chances, to make our lives better. So today is day one of our 60 day BBBE challenge. Yes, I will be consuming cream with the intention of slowing down. I swear I need to get that update on how everything went with my job. I was eating some foods that I shouldn't have had. I wasn't gorging and it certainly what, well, maybe it was a little bit for pleasure, but you know, I was helping get a new menu started and it was definitely a challenge, but um, this BBBE challenge, is not going to be. I'm going to kick butt and take names and we'll see how well it goes. We're going to do 60 days. I've never went beyond 30 days. So we're going to see how everything goes. Okay. I I'm pretty excited for this. So day one, BBBE plus C, but it's not nearly as much C as it has been. Y'all remember your why know that you have chance after chance day after day, but let's strive to make it all 365 days, staying true to ourselves, not true to sad, not true to anything else. You're being true to yourself. And today starts our 60 day challenge. And it is what I like to call the great reset. This is going to knock out those cravings and it's going to keep you on track. And if you have a slip up, it's definitely going to help you get right back on track. At least that's the experience I had when I first did the BBB challenge. So cheers to 2024. Let's rock this challenge. Best of luck to y'all. Love you. So as you can see, Cassie's going to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, salt only, and she's still going to enjoy cream in her coffee, <laughs> which I knew she was going to do. And that's fine. She can have great results doing that. I, on the other hand, am going to be doing the BBBE challenge with no cream in my coffee. And, you know, it's going to be challenging, but I'll have an easier time than she would and I want to show her as possible. Plus, I want to see, you know, what my results are after 60 days of not consuming any dairy, period. That's impossible! You know, that cream hangs around. We've always had a hard time giving it up. Um, but with the winter months, you know, it's still cold out. I can handle black coffee. So we'll see what happens. Now, for those of you who are new to the BBBE Challenge, you've never done it. It's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Now beef includes all ruminant animals, um, deer, elk, moose. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Look up, you know, ruminant animals and you can consume any of those and you can have any organs from those animals, you know, heart, if it's your thing, tongue, liver. And then of course there's bacon and you can also have pork belly. So a lot of people ask, well, can I have pork chops? You know, in the BBB challenge, it comes from the same animal. The reason Dr. Berry made it bacon was because it's got a one-to-one -one fat to protein ratio. And I highly recommend you stick to that. But if you want to enjoy a pork chop, you go right ahead. <laughs> and then there's butter. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can eat as much butter as you want and eggs. 
Eggs are affordable, eggs are healthy for you. And all four of these foods, you can consume as much as you want until you're comfortably stuffed, as Dr. Barry says. When we first start the BBB challenge, we're usually eating two meals a day. Um, you know, if you're, if you're starting carnivore for the very first time, uh, it's gonna be a rough haul to try the BBBE challenge, I'm not gonna lie. The first time we ever attempted it, we had been on the carnivore diet for almost 60 days, and then we you know, restricted down to the BBBE challenge, and it was tough. And Cassie and I remember telling, you know, looking at each other like, I don't know, we could do this from you know the very beginning, but if you wanna try it, you know, give it a shot. I definitely encourage you to, but if you find yourself having trouble sticking to it, uh, there's nothing wrong with adding in some chicken or some fish. And that's the thing about our challenge. And I want to make this very clear. You don't have to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs only to participate in the weight loss portion of our challenge. Uh, we just finished up our six-week holiday weight loss challenge. So Cassie and I had just weighed in. I weighed in at 254 pounds and Cassie weighed in at 201. So that's our starting weight on New Year's Day. <laughs> Uh, you guys, if you want, put your starting weight in the comments of this video. Some people don't feel comfortable doing that, but as long as you keep track of your weight loss for the next 60 days, you know, at the end, as always, we'll put out a video and everybody will report their weight loss and we will tally it up. Now, 10,000 pounds, <laughs> it sounds pretty ambitious, right? Last year in April, we lost almost 8,000 pounds as a community in 30 days. So I figure why not go for 10,000? You know, if we don't hit the mark, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, anything is a victory. If we lost 2,000 pounds as a community, thumbs up for that, right? But let's see if we can do it, 10,000 pounds. We're gonna need a lot of participation to hit that mark. So share this challenge with your friends and family. We don't ask you to do that very often, but since our goal is so high this year, uh, <laughs> it'd be cool if, you know, you spread the word a little bit and, uh, see how many people we can have join us. As far as beverages go on the challenge, there's not a lot of options. Of course, there's water, sparkling water, uh, tea, coffee. Um, you know, you can use a little cream if you're going to go with Cassie or you can go black <laughs> if you're like me. Um, during the day, Cassie and I will be using raw unflavored electrolytes from Elements and I am going to still enjoy um, my carnivore hot chocolate in the evenings. You know, it's a half a packet of one of the chocolate medleys um, and a cup of hot water. And I won't be adding cream, but it's still delicious. And it, it just keeps me away from evening coffee. And man, I've been sleeping so much better. Um, I'm not going to cut it out. And Cassie told me she's going to do the same. And the last aspect of the challenge I want to talk about is the wall of doom. <laughs> uh, once you are on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge for about two weeks, most people, it's about two weeks, um, you start getting some food aversion. You know, the, the ground beef's not looking good. The ribeye's not looking good. Eggs look disgusting. And you just don't want any of the food. Now, when this happens, Cassie and I, I remember I looked at her, I said, this is like a, hitting a wall of doom <laughs> when it first happened to us. I coined that phrase, <laughs> but it's, it's not very pleasant. And we just ended up fasting. We just ended up not eating because apparently your body is not hungry if that food's not looking good. And the very first time we did the BBB challenge, Cassie fasted for three days. I fasted for two before the food absolutely look delicious again and if you can get through the wall of doom if you can survive that because that's usually when people fall and they give up on the bbbe challenge um, if you can make it through bust through the wall i'm telling you you're going to learn so much about when you're really hungry when your body's really hungry and it, it's really a game changer um, in your overall carnivore journey you know we were just talking on our live stream last night that, you know, I, I'm not going to eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs the rest of my life, but it's definitely something I will do on occasion for the rest of my life because it's a powerful tool um, to get back on track, to tighten up. And, you know, because, I mean, we let things slip in here and there, whether it's cheese or, you know, sauces and seasonings, and it, it's just good to tighten up. I mean, that's what Cassie and I found on uh, the BBBE Challenge 
is amazing for that. So are you in? Are you ready to try and lose 10,000 pounds? It's going to be crazy. Um, our challenges are always free. We do them here on YouTube. But we are going to be doing members only lives for accountability. Quite a few of them, probably three or four a week. Um, you can become a member for $2.99. And, you know, a lot of times I'll pull people up to share the link and have everybody on screen for a discussion. I can have up to 10 people at a time. And that's always a good time. But to participate in our challenge, it's totally free. You can also join our free Facebook group. It's private Carnivore Quest community. Um, usually most people in there follow the challenges we're doing here on YouTube. And if you need accountability, you know, support, um, definitely swing by, answer a few questions and we'll get you right in. The group is filled with a lot of good people and I think you'll really find it uh, different than most groups on Facebook. So check it out. All right, let me give you the answer of today's Mental Clarity Trivia. Who actually named the carnivore diet the carnivore diet? Well, the answer was Dr. Sean Baker. A big thank you to Dr. Baker because the carnivore diet has completely changed our lives. Um, Cassie and I have lost almost 200 combined pounds eating a carnivore diet. And a big thank you to Dr. Barry for creating the BBBE Challenge uh, because it really has been a powerful tool in our weight loss journey. And we absolutely recommend it to everybody. At least try it once. So you think you guys can go the 60 days? <laughs> Cassie's only gone 30. I've gone much longer than that, but I, I really, once I get like past day 45, day 60, I really gotta be careful not to under eat. The last time I did the challenge for a very extended period of time, over 200 days, I was down to one meal a day and I was, I was under eating. I, I wasn't getting enough nutrition. So I'm definitely gonna do the 60 days, but then I'll probably stop there and go back to general carnivore. So at the end of February, we'll all weigh in together tally up those results and see if we hit the 10,000 pounds. Really appreciate you guys stopping by for a few minutes and thank you for participating in the challenge. Before you bail, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button for me and we'll see you in the next one. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching guys and if you want some more BBBE content, definitely check out this next video.